Hey Gemini, welcome to the channel. Welcome to your reading. This message is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hope you guys are doing great. Please take only what resonates for you. What can you tell me for my Geminis? So we have clout hunger here. We have giving money in reverse. <laughs> Says anything, does anything, makes shit up dramatic. There could be somebody that's hanging around in your energy wanting your money. But you're not giving it to them. All right? Somebody could be wanting to um, take from you. Yeah, you have somebody with scarcity tactics here. You have somebody with their hand out. Who the hell is this? Somebody's like asking for your help. They're trailing after you, trying to get a piece of whatever you have going on. We have hustling in the reverse. So this is somebody who doesn't do a lot for themselves, but they want to chase after and benefit from everything you have done and worked hard for. Who the hell is this? So with the scarcity tactics too, like that energy is giving me somebody who, um, I'm hearing breadcrumbs, but... Also, it's just like they guilt trip. So like anything that you get, it's kind of like, oh, well, I wish I could have that. But, you know, I have to do da, 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 da. like anything you have, you find yourself feeling guilty about it, Gemini. Like you can't even tell somebody like, oh, I had hibachi tonight for dinner. Oh, my God. I haven't had hibachi in like a year. I just can't afford it. Like, I, you know, I can barely go out to eat ever. Like it's giving that kind of energy. Anything you say, it's like, they make you feel bad for the blessings that you have or something. I don't know. And then there's also somebody around you that's like around you clout chasing. They want to be noticed. So I don't know if you have a, a platform of some sort or you're popular, you're in some type of social circle that somebody else wants to get into be noticed for something so be careful with people that are hanging out with you just because they want to get in with the in crowd uh-huh that whoever this person is they're just like a fucking i hate to say they're a loser but like that's the vibe i'm getting like they have nothing going for themselves they don't have any passions they don't they don't finish things that they start what's this giving money in the reverse If this was somebody you guys were with and had to end, it, end things with, this motherfucker could be the type that you was living with you and not paying their half of the rent. Every time every time it came time to be doing rent or mortgage or bills or something, they always ended up not, not having it or coming up short. Or y'all had money problems with whoever this was if you were living with them. And that could be why you kicked them out. Now, this might not even have to be a relationship. This could be somebody that you were living with you know, just, a, you know, a roommate of some sort, whether it was a friend or just somebody that was a roommate that you had to end things with because they weren't coming, they were coming up short all the time with money. What's the scarcity? Yeah, this little victim mentality, like I said, it could be a fire sign, heavy on the fire sign, a fire sign, <laughs> Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. If you guys are dealing with a fire sign, put it down in the comments. This person got an excuse for every damn thing that they don't have in their life and shit. Anything you say, they got something to say about, oh, well, I couldn't do that because, you know, this happened to me when I was five and da da da, da. Like, just a victim mentality. What's this hustling in the reverse? Yes, heavy on the fire sign. Look at all this damn fire energy out here. A fire sign with no damn fire. How about that? And I'm a Sagittarius saying that shit. You know? Victim mentality is hell. Oh, I just, I've had all these things placed upon me. That's why I can't do this. That's why I can't do that. They um, limit themselves. But yet they're hanging out with you. Somebody that I feel like is inspiring to them. I think that's maybe why they are attracted to you. Is because they're trying to gain inspiration from you. But really, honestly, what they're trying to mainly gain is a handout what i'm seeing what the hell no motivation you know they they give the the bare minimum with everything if this was a lover i see exactly why you had to cut this mother trucker off 
you could have a, a water sign. It's funny because I split the deck and I saw the Knight of Cups and then I split the deck again in the Knight of Pentacles. You could have a earth sign or a water sign heading towards you wanting to offer you something, wanting to offer you some love, some romance. And this is something that maybe you don't see coming. Let me tap into that more. But I feel like also like this little side energy here I was just talking about, like that's crazy. Like, who is that? Somebody's clout chasing in your inner circle. And y'all need to be aware of that. Tell me about these romantic love interests heading towards Gemini. The romantic love interests. Could be a Leo, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I feel like whoever these love interests are, they're they're very into they're very accomplished they're confident they go to therapy possibly one of them could go to therapy and you know the good thing is it's coming out reverse that eight of swords is reverse so it's like you know maybe they've dealt with a lot of struggles in their life but they've learned how to overcome those yeah um mature individual career could them being single for too long could be an obstacle with one of them. I'm not sure. Um, could be kind of a short-lived thing of whoever's coming towards you because somebody's not willing to kind of look deeper within and be able to learn how to balance their career and relationship. There's kind of like a wishy-washy energy of like, I really do like Gemini. I want to get to know Gemini, but I'm not quite sure what I really want kind of thing. And then it's almost given this energy of like, I should have done more or been more because I see, excuse me, I see something that could have grown or could have happened. They could have been trying to be manipulative and just kind of like, hmm. They could have been trying to do things the toxic masculine way of not really knowing what they wanted. Wanting to conquer, wanting to get you in the bed, that kind of thing, and not really wanting, not really knowing what they wanted outside of that. And But there's kind of like this waiting energy too here. So um, I feel like somebody's gonna get involved with somebody coming up here, but they're not gonna know quite what they want yet. Cause they're just not in that mental space to follow their intuition like i feel like somebody has an issue with control and manipulation whoever this whoever these people are or a person or somebody that's coming into your energy here uh totally separate from what i was talking about earlier with the clout chaser i feel like this is a totally different energy coming in for you this is a new person it's like they conquered some aspects of like their trauma so to speak they could go to therapy but there's like this spiritual aspect that they haven't tapped into yet there's like the childhood wound thing hasn't been figured out but whatever they end up doing or not doing they're going to be re they're going to regret it and there's almost like this waiting on you energy so you could like block them or say you know what if you don't know what you want then see ya kind of thing and that could make them be kind of in this regrets energy Tell me the overall energy for Gemini right now. We have financial bind. I said that, didn't I? No, that was for Taurus, my bad. Financial bind. Your financial struggle might stem from past errors or spiritual manipulation, including being tempted with money to act against your values. Stand firm in your integrity. It's more valuable. There's no, it's more valuable, yeah, than any quick gain. Navigating this with honesty not only clears your path, but also combats any negative influences. True wealth is a clean spirit and a steadfast heart. Um, yeah, money came out in the reverse. Okay. Hustling was in the reverse, too, for the a person that was in your energy. Okay. So, you could find yourself in a financial bind because... In the past, you've given too much to people. 
and you're realizing like you're not going to get that money back or you're not going to, I don't know what this is. Some of you may be in the past, and, and this might not resonate for everybody, okay? But there could be something about you have used money for leverage against people. Like if someone owes you money, <laughs> you could act a certain kind of way towards those people. But that's because you've been in situations where people don't give you don't give you back your money, don't pay you back kind of thing. And they said they would. And so now maybe you could be very stingy with your money. Um Also, there could be something that you have done in the past where you were tempted by money and it went against your, your moral values. So in order to get money, you did something that you wouldn't have normally done kind of thing. I do feel like you guys get money, but there's something to do with being bound to it almost. Maybe you guys are workaholics and you're not taking care of your emotional health, your spiritual health, that kind of thing. Because you're just kind of obsessing about working, 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 working all the time. Getting money, getting noticed, maintaining an image, I'm hearing. Because I do feel like I'm talking to a Gemini who could maybe be very successful and well-known. Why else would you have somebody around you, Clout Jason? Somebody lazy around you. Uh, that could be why you feel that way. Maybe some of you, I could be talking, let's not even talk about a lover. It could be a family member that's been benefiting from your success. And you've been giving them money, giving them money. And not even th and knowing they're not going to pay you back. So you could do things <laughs> to make them feel bad about themselves. So I don't know. Like you could say things or do things because you have that leverage because you're helping them financially. I'm not sure what that is, but spirit wants to say, stop doing that. <laughs> if that's what you're doing, stop doing that because you're going to end up getting karma. Even though they are the one in the wrong, if they're using you for your money. You know what I'm saying? Like, you still need to handle that situation the appropriate way. I don't know who that's for, but let's get some written messages for Gemini. 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 So we have bad hygiene here. So somebody in your energy could have bad hygiene. <laughs> don't take care of themselves, okay? When I'm with you, you give me a feeling that I can do whatever I put my mind to. You're helping me grow and feel better about myself. Hashtag sun. There's that Leo energy. This is this person that tags along with you. Like, you make them feel good about themselves, all right? You give them an ego boost because they're in your energy. What the hell? This is some weird... I'm getting some weird-ass readings tonight. Could be a December Capricorn that feels like shit about themselves because they're not in their Capricorn energy, which is that of being a business person. An entrepreneur doing things, using, you know, having ideas and following through with them. Don't worry about this not working out. You're protected. We have On Red by Lucky Day, the song. Left you on red. You could be leaving a lot of people on red lately, Gemini, and just conserving your energy, not wanting to deal with people. That's kind of like the, the feeling that I feel. Could be dealing with the cancer. We have This Will Be Short Term. That's what I was talking about. Whoever's coming towards you, Gemini, just know that's going to be short term. Like I said, you'll find that this person doesn't really know what they want. And it's just going to be a thing where short lived thing but that they'll live to kind of regret. They'll think back on it and be like, mm, there probably was more potential there with Gemini. I just wasn't ready. Even after all this time, you still do it for me. So there could be somebody else in your energy that's thinking about you, Gemini. When you left, a part of me left with you. I'm not the same. Could be a Virgo that we're talking about here. This another another energy coming out. 
But I also have, I sleep with strangers and don't even use protection. And damn. That could be this like spontaneous, short-lived energy that comes in for you. This is a third party can't make me come like you do. So the, uh, I, I just feel like you guys might get involved with somebody who is involved with other people already. And that could be part of the reason why, you know, it's short-lived. Oh no, a Virgo could be coming back into your life wanting to have bomb ass sex with you and prove you wrong about wanting to come back in about who they are or something like that. It's totally separate energies. I don't know where the hell this is going. We have major life changes as well coming in. So you kind of have a lot going on in this reading, Gemini. I'm going to end it. Um, I'm going to tap into the extended to kind of just make sense of a lot of these energies that are around you because it's just kind of all over the place. I hope that you could resonate with parts of this, hopefully the whole thing, but um, because it is kind of all over the place, there's probably just certain parts that you'll resonate with and others that you won't, and that's totally fine. Meet me over at the extended. If you want me to tap more into these energies, their intentions towards you, and more things that you need to be aware of, in order to see my extended readings, you have to become a member. The link to do that is down in the description box, and... I will see you guys over there. If not, I will see you guys on the next one on the regular channel. Bye.